This is one of the best passing and running schemes in Madden 24. The run is insane, man. It will just basically pick up yards every single time you run the ball. And then on top of this, you will be able to pass the ball, beat every coverage in the game, whether it's zone coverage or man coverage, man. This will just make your opponent just get so confused whether you're going to run or you're going to pass. But, boys, if you feel like you can go ahead and lock in, make sure to click that like button, subscribe to your channel, and click that notification bell, and let's get into it. It's your boy, Larry, back to you again with another video. And today, you guys, I got some more heat to y'all and the Miami Dolphins playbook. So, we are going to be in a wean pair today, man. If you haven't already, too, make sure to hit a like, subscribe to that channel, man. If you haven't already, well, let's go ahead and get into this thing, man. So, I'm going to be showing y'all one of the best running schemes in Madden. And then on top of that, I'm going to be showing y'all some passing plays out of this formation as well. So, uh, we are going to be running inside zone. We're going to be running stretch as well. The inside zone is basically going to be a go-to. We're just going to be running this against just random coverages right now. So if you see the box stat like this, you can always go to this uh, this stretch. Uh, and the stretch is going to pick you up a decent amount of yards like every single time. If you see everybody stat up in the box and your opponent is basically trying to stop that inside zone. But there's a situation where it's like this. This is the time where you need to uh, pull out this inside zone. And when I block two, I like clicking the left uh, left top bumper and clicking my right stick up. That met basically match protects and make them like kind of push forward instead of doing anything else. And then you'll see how consistent this run is. That time we actually got tackled, but if the guard actually goes and pick, picks up that linebacker, which what he, he actually does a lot of the time, you'll pick up a lot of yards. Now in this situation, I would just run the inside zone over to this side again, just because I like the numbers. As you can see, at the worst, you're still going to pick up about four to five yards every time with this run play. Uh, then if it doesn't look good for either side, I like to just flip the inside zone and run it to the uh, the way which has the most blockers. And most of the time, as y'all can see, I mean, we not picking up big gains right now, but y'all can see that it's pretty consistent overall. In this situation, just run inside zone to the majority of the blockers. If you're not sure which way to run the play, always just run it towards the majority of where the blockers are. And as y'all can see, uh, a lot of the times you will at least pick up 5 to 10 yards a pop with this run play. It's pretty consistent. Like I said, if you see a lot of people in the box, go ahead and run that, uh, run that, um, run that stretch play, man. If you see a lot of people stacked up in the box, your opponent is basically trying to stop you from running the ball because he's so worried about that inside zone. Go ahead and run that stretch play, man. It's consistent as well. Now, as you can see, that time we couldn't get going, but we actually did have a big hole that time around. But, um, boys, I'm going to run it one more time, but then I'm going to go ahead and show y'all uh, what these uh, passing plays do out of this formation because I don't want to spend too much time on this because y'all kind of get the gist of how this run play works. Y'all can see that it's relatively consistent. Uh, as y'all can see, it's going to pick up about 5 to 10 yards a pop no matter what for the majority of the time that you do run this so moving on boys gonna be running this against a cover three cover two and also man coverage and we are going to be running this against a cover four quarter so first we actually just gonna run this against a cover four quarters we're gonna run it against vertical half back out so let's just go to a random cover four quarter so with this you don't have to do any adjustments the b tight end is going to be open for a touchdown uh every single time as y'all can see the linebacker runs off uh with the quarters match concept is really really like messy so if you run cover four quarters i recommend that you don't unless you just perfected it because i feel like it's one of the worst coverages in the game personally but as y'all can see it's gonna be a touchdown every single time doesn't even matter what cover four quarters it actually is it's just gonna be a touchdown now moving on boys showing y'all how to be a cover three out of this formation now with this formation when running this cover three beater you do want to have faster tight ends boys you don't want to be doing this with no slow tight ends out of this formation so if you run mutt make sure to um get you some pretty decent tight ends don't have to be the fastest in the world but at least get them some i uh, get some tight ends with relatively decent speed and also if you're in red it's just make sure to put your fastest tight ends in uh nothing too crazy so play is going to be the vertical half back out again we're just going to be working this against a cover cover three so what you want to go ahead and do boys you want to go ahead and put that x tight end on a street route uh put that square uh receiver on a comeback route just like that uh, then with the circle receiver um i tend to like to leave it because it clears out that cornerback a little bit more 
And the person that we're going to be looking for on this play is going to be R1, which is Higgins. So we're going to try to wait for him to kind of clear. That's how we actually got sat. But um, y'all could see on that play, we had a lot of space to work with. So two adjustments, just put X on the street and put square on a combat route. And usually if you have enough time, you'll be able to get this off. And most of the time, it'd be like a one-play touchdown. That time, he actually just stopped on this route. But y'all can see the potential with this play and how open it actually gets. So if he didn't like, he actually didn't even run his route right. I think that's what messed up the whole play. But as y'all can see, if he actually ran his route right, he would be in this vicinity somewhere over here. And I could lead it, but he just kind of just completely whipped on his uh, route but Higgins doesn't have any route running if I'm being honest like that. He's just kind of fast So it's just kind of one of those situa situations We kind of got to deal with and then you got to deal with drops like that, too Now this isn't one of the better cover three beaters that we have in the Miami Dolphins playbook that I showed y'all in my videos if y'all haven't go check that out But this is one of those plays that's gonna be nice when you're running the ball constantly uh, then on top of that, you got all of these passing plays that you can work out of. I'm trying to give y'all a little stability with the run game and the passing game because we broke down every single passing formation out of the, Dolph out of the Dolphins playbook. So if y'all haven't, go check out those videos. But now I wanted to get into some of the run formations where y'all can go ahead and run and pass. Um, and then on top of this, um, we got like a few more videos we're going to be running out of the Dolphins playbook. And then we're going to go ahead and be going to a different playbook, boy. So uh, that's basically the setup for cover three. Um, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat cover two. But as y'all can see, it's pretty consistent though, boys. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It's not the be like better ones that I showed y'all on the channel, but it's definitely still elite. You're still going to die with this play. Uh, but moving on to the cover two beater out of this formation uh it is going to be the same play so uh a lot of this stuff you can go ahead and run out of the same play all you want to do with this play you just want to put x on a street uh put r1 on a flat route and i like to put square on a slant and uh, then you just want to wait for circle to kind of clear and the reason that i'm not motioning anybody out i want everything to basically look the same boys um i don't really want to motion too much because that kind of gives away that we're passing so I tried to kind of figure out some things where we don't have to motion as much. But if you do go ahead and motion against cover two, um, this circle, this circle tight end definitely gets a lot more separation. You'll see too. Uh, just wait for him to kind of go up the sideline and you'll see that he gets a lot more separation if you want to go ahead and motion him out if you know it's cover two. But it definitely still works if um, you don't motion him out. A lot of the times, depending on the situation, if you don't motion him out, sometimes you might have to hit that R1 receiver uh or r1 tight end which is perfectly fine because with that route you're gonna at least pick up about like usually about five to ten yards a pop with that little flat route um this time it's covered a little bit but y'all can see once it sits down uh, a lot of times you'll at least pick up about probably about three four three to five yards on that play um but that's basically gonna beat cover two uh we went over cover three and now i'm gonna be showing y'all how to beat man coverage out of this formation as well um, now with man coverage, you do have to make one motion. Uh, we are just going to be running vertical half that out again. We are just going to be running this against um, this cover two man. Let's just run it against a cover two man. So what you want to go ahead and do, boys? Uh, you want to motion out your circle uh, tight end, put him on a zig route, and you just want to go ahead and motion him back. And once you have done that, you want to put R1 on a streak, put square on a slant, and you can run the play just like this. The first read is going to be circle. Uh, then we have square and X as our other reads as well. And this is basically going to clip man coverage every single time um, that you go ahead and run this. So if we go ahead and run this back again, put him on a Z route, um, put your R1 receiver or R1 tight end on a street route, uh, then kind of just watch the magic work. X is going to cook a lot of times too. You just want to lead it down. He's going to cook. That was a drop that time around. And uh, then you'll see that square gets open a lot of a, a lot of the time with uh, that slant route as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit square on this play So y'all can kind of um, see what I'm talking about really quick, but this play it works really good Sometimes you can even go ahead and hit your running back if you paying attention It just kind of depends how much leverage he has on the linebacker, but as y'all can see he's gonna be open uh, I'm gonna go to an instant replay just to show y'all what the square receiver is looking like because I'm pretty sure he was open didn't really look but um, in that situation he was actually covered but once he gets in this area, sometimes he'll he'll get a little bit more open. But you got so many routes that just beat man coverage out of this formation that's basically just going to work really, really consistent. And I got one more play to 
that I'm gonna be showing y'all in today's video. Uh, that is gonna be the PA Sprint Flat. This is gonna be basically every single coverage in the game, boys. Um, now with this play, you wanna go ahead and put circle on a street. You wanna put X on a flat. And I like to put square on a slant. Now with this play, it beats cover three, it beats cover two, it beats cover four, all that good stuff. But it is more of a high low read. I would say the majority of the time R1 is open. But in the situation that R1 isn't open, you're going to be throwing it to the running back. So if the running back is initially open, which he wasn't, I actually took way too long to throw that. But y'all can see that that R1, R1 was wide open on the play. So we're going to go ahead and run it back really quick. Uh, the majority of the time with this play, though, I noticed that cover two kind of plays it a little bit better than everything else. But y'all see that this R1 tight end is going to be open every single time against cover three and most of the time against um cover four as well but cover four and cover two you kind of got to pay attention a little bit sometimes you might have to take your underneath check down so we're going to run it one more time we are going to be running it against a just random cover two this time around um and we are going to be going back to our play i missed and clicked the wrong play so we're going to go back so like I was saying, the play that we're going to be using is going to be PA Sprint Half Bat Flat. Work this against a random cover two. Go ahead and put your uh, circle tight end on a street. Put X on a flat. Put a square on a slant. On uh, this situation, R1 is going to cook too. So that's going to be probably a touchdown. Uh, Tyreek Hill didn't block nobody. So that could have been a touchdown, but it just didn't happen. So y'all can see that this is going to cook. I want to show y'all against a cover four. And I basically want to show y'all what happens when you throw to the running back. Because if you throw to the running back, um, it basically becomes a screenplay. So I'm going to show y'all what's really going on with this. Uh, I'm going to try a cover for a drop. Maybe it'll work out a cover for a drop. So we're going to put a circle on a slant. I mean, put circle on a street. X on a flat, square on the slant. And you'll see, you just want to throw to him initially. If you see that that uh, R1 tight end is covered, and you see that the coverage is basically back backing off. So if we go ahead and pay attention to this, I'm going to reset it. You can kind of tell uh, how the coverage is going to be if they backed up already. Initially, you just want to throw it to him real quick. And as y'all can see, it basically turns into a screenplay. So if you see everybody just initially backing off on this play, you basically know to just throw it to the running back. As you can see, everybody's just backing off heavily. We're going to utilize that uh, tight end, and that's going to be a blocker for us. And we made our own screen pass. So, boys, this is going to conclude the video, man. Y'all make sure to hit a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Click that notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos, man. We got a ton of heat on the channel. If y'all haven't, go check out my previous videos. Whole bunch of um, just plays out of the Miami Dolphins playbook. Like I was saying, we are going to be moving on to a different playbook eventually. So, we're going to try to make our way through all 32 teams this year. So, y'all boys make sure to lock in. But it's your boy Alert. I love y'all boys. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. And y'all have a great rest of your day. And peace.